This demonstration will explain the various tabs of the vendor form in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Before creating vendors in Microsoft Dynamics AX, you should first set up vendor groups. Please review the prior demonstration, Vendor Setup Part 1, to explore how to set up vendor groups. The vendor form can be found in the Accounts Payable module. Each tab of the vendor form will be reviewed in this demonstration. The Overview tab is a listing of all vendor records in the system. This tab shows basic information such as vendor account number, name, search name, and invoice account number. Vendor group is a mandatory field for a vendor. In the Overview tab, you can select which group the vendor should belong to. For information on creating vendor groups, please review the Part 1 demonstration for vendor setup. Currency is the default currency that will show on the vendor's invoice. This default value can be manually overridden on the purchase order form before entering order lines. Invoice account indicates what account invoices will post to. This is used to post multiple vendor invoices on one parent vendor. The first five fields of the General tab are simply repeated fields from the Overview tab. The Language field determines the written language that will appear on all external documents such as purchase orders. This field is automatically populated based on the Accounts Payable parameter settings when new vendors are created. Credit Rating is another optional field used for statistical purposes. Credit Limit determines the maximum outstanding balance allowed for the vendor. In order for this field to be used, you must configure how the credit is checked in the Accounts Payable Parameters form. In the Administration column, the Stopped field makes it possible to block a vendor account manually by selecting either No Blocking, in which all transactions are possible, Invoice, in which case the account is blocked from invoice posting, or All where all transactions are blocked. Selecting a buyer group for the vendor allows you to associate this vendor to employees and items. This field is used for filtering reports and is automatically copied to the purchase orders if they are created by item coverage or by estimating production. If the vendor is also a customer, the customer account number is displayed. The Details tab contains general vendor profile information such as locally owned, minority owned, woman owner, and number of employees. The one-time supplier checkbox activates the settings for one-time vendors. In order to use this function, you must first set up the applicable parameters in the number sequences tab of the parameters form. On the Setup tab, there are five main sections. The Invoice Account field allows you to link several vendors to one invoice account, so that if more than one vendor has the same address or is paid through a third party, there is only one account where the invoice amount is credited. This feature is only available with the invoice update of a purchase. The Number Sequence Group field is used to find number sequences for internal numbers on the purchase invoice and purchase order credit note. If this field is left blank, the purchase order number is used. The Account Type field is the type of offset account that will be used, and the Offset Account field is the offset account number suggested in the Daily Journal. The Delivery section of the Setup tab lets the user enter details for typical delivery from the vendor. These details include the UPS freight zone, standard terms of delivery, and the typical mode of delivery such as truck or ship. The destination code is used to break vendors into zones. The sales tax section of the setup tab includes information on which sales tax group the vendor belongs to, whether the price includes sales tax, and if the vendor is exempt from tax, what, that, what the vendor's tax exempt number is. Fiscal code is used only for sales tax reporting. Enterprise number is used only for Belgian vendors. 
if withholding tax should be calculated for the vendor's payment transactions in journals, you should check the Calculate Withholding Tax checkbox. If it is checked, enter a group for the vendor. The Purchase Order tab contains three main sections, Purchase Order, Discount, and Supplementary Item. The Warehouse and Site field define default warehouse locations for items being received from the vendor. Miscellaneous Charges group allows you to associate the vendor to a set of markups, such as postage, handling, and freight, that will be automatically calculated per invoice for the vendor. Please see the demonstration on Miscellaneous Charges for more information on setting up vendor miscellaneous charge groups. Some vendors request that their own item descriptions appear on orders. By linking the vendor to an item vendor group, the items will automatically be shown with the vendor's external item description. The Purchase Pool field allows you to group purchase orders together. This field also allows for filtering and sorting of orders. If the vendor has assigned an account number to your company, you can enter it here and have it appear on orders. If you want the prices and amounts of items to appear on the purchase order, you should check the Purchase Order Prices Amount checkbox. This is typically checked for most vendors. The Purchase Calendar is used to calculate order date and delivery date. This is the vendor's working days calendar. Amount Currency displays the total amount of invoice updated transactions in the vendor's native currency. The fields in the Discount column are used to link the vendor to discount groups for multi-line, total, price, and line discounts. By linking the vendor to the discount groups, discounts are automatically calculated on the purchase order. Please see the demonstrations on discounts for more information on setting up these groups. Supplementary Item Group manages the vendor's supplementary items when those items are calculated. The Address tab is where information is added on the vendor's address, such as street name, zip code, city, county, state, and country. You can add as many addresses as necessary and designate certain address types, such as delivery, invoice, and payment. The Contact Information tab contains fields for entering the vendor's primary contact information. The Payment tab is the setup of how we will pay our vendors. You can specify the terms and mode of payment as well as enter further specification on the method of payment. Payment Schedule allows you to set up a payment schedule to be used when invoicing. If your vendor allows you to take advantage of cash discounts, enter the cash discount group here. The group used will determine the method, number of days, percentage rate, etc. for the discount. If you are making payments directly to the vendor's bank, enter the bank account number in the bank account field. You may choose to enter a payment identification for the vendor when you make payments. The ID number is entered in Payment ID. In the Payment Day field, select the payment day used for calculation of the due date. Microsoft Dynamics AX will automatically be rounded up to the nearest specified date. The Central Bank Purpose Code is used if you are reporting vendor information to the Central Bank. These codes are set up in the Payment Purpose Codes table. The Purpose Text field is a free text field. If you need to create a 1099 form for a purchase for this vendor, Check the Report 1099 checkbox. In the Federal Tax ID field, enter the vendor's registration number for 1099 declarations. In the Tax ID Type box, enter the Federal Tax ID for the vendor. The 1099 box should contain the 1099 field number that will default into vendor transaction lines. Foreign Entity Indicator should be selected if the vendor is owned by an entity in a foreign country or a U.S. possession. Select the second TIN box if the IRS has notified the vendor twice within three calendar years 
that the vendor provided incorrect identifying information such as name, federal tax ID, or federal tax ID combination. Name to use on the 1099 is the type of name used for the vendor on 1099 reports. DBA stands for Doing Business As. Name control is from the 1099 mailing label. The Dimension tab shows the three financial dimensions for vendors. Each of these three fields should contain the default dimension code for the vendor. All default values can be manually changed on orders or before posting an invoice.